Hey everyone, Sensei Victoria Whitfield here, founder of strategicmeditation.com, where I help impact-driven entrepreneurs and leaders like you get and stay grounded and clear in mind, body, and business. The work that I do, I coach leaders like you to increase your energy so that you can increase your income and impact. And this is your business energy flow forecast for the week of September 10th of 2023. And I'm excited to get to share with you what energy you can expect in the week ahead. That's why we do these forecasts. By the way, is this your first one? If so, hi, where have you been? <laughs> where have you been? Welcome to my mission. This is where I see private clients. So if you want to come for your one-on-one -on -one session here in New Jersey, this is not a Zoom background. This is a real pillow. This is a real couch. Yes. <laughs> so if you want to come for your private sessions, this is where you will be. Right, and I look forward to meeting you. If this is not your first time coming to the forecasts on a weekly basis, welcome back, baby. Good to see you. <laughs> and I hope you come in person soon. Let's work on you one on one instead of you just, you know, hanging out at home 6 a.m. on a Saturday, having tea, figuring your life out by yourself. I'm happy to get in there with you. Roll my, well, I don't have sleeves, but roll my energetic sleeves up. <laughs> get in there with you, yes, yes. So this month of September is all about your energy management, revitalizing your energy with creativity, getting back to yourself, getting into your color, into your art, into your craft, into yourself, your purpose, the things that turn you on. This September is all about returning to your energy resources so that you feel strong and you have the stamina to pursue your goals and vision, right? And this week in particular of September 10th, 2023, we have a new moon in Virgo on the 15th. Right, so coming up a little bit later this week. And that also is when Mercury Retrograde finally completes. Now there's a post-sad shadow, it's called, for about one to two weeks afterwards. So you can still get some productive, transformational kerfuffle coming up here and there. So, you know, keep an eye out for things breaking down as a sign of you breaking through, always keep an eye open. Now, it ain't always Mercury retrograde. So I have a client of mine, hi Amy, who's like, it's always Mercury retrograde around me. Like why is everything breaking down? Because she's so powerful. That's why, right? Um, so yay, we've got some shift energy coming this week lightning lightning so that all systems go from last week we're entering into a different paradigm this week in particular where uh, my spirit guides are saying it's important for you to know that it is safe for you to shine it is safe for you to shine repeat me it is safe for me to shine repeat me it is safe for me to shine. It is safe for me to shine. It is safe for you to allow your point of view, your gifts, your offer, right? Your value to be on display. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine lately and we we're discussing about oh, the dating scene, etc. I came to an epiphany between two of us. I'm not going to meet somebody in my room. Right? Okay, yeah, scrolling through your phone, but that's not meeting someone. That's having an intimate relationship with a bunch of images on a hunk of metal. I don't want a hunk of metal. I want a hunk of human. 
<laughs> Gotta get around other humans in order to find a human for you. And so what's the SOP for that? Right? How I attracted my last lover is I went out and I'm like, I'm going to enjoy my sensuality out in public. I'm going to be seen enjoying all of this wonderful juice and beauty and wee 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 For those of us who are solopreneurs or who work remotely, I mean, this is my office. I don't live here. As fabulous as it is, I have a separate place that I live and I also have another co-working space as well that I work out of and other places that I cooperate with. Uh, so when, when you don't have a set place to go to work necessarily, um, out and it's a place that you also own if you do have a separate place like yours truly, but this is, it's mine. It's not a public establishment where there's all these kinds of, you got to get yourself around people. If you want to meet someone, it's safe to shine. Go get out there. You can attract the lover and what a client, a partner. In business and life, you can do it. It's safe for you to get out and shine and share your weird. Someone's gonna love it because you love it. Law of attraction, right? So be kind to yourself if you've been kind of sitting on your power, as my fabulous goddess friend Sharice Sisu would say, if you're sitting on your power. Um, get on up and share it, share your light. Um, with others. Now I'm going to pull the card of the week, but is this resonating with you? Go ahead, comment below, type it, like, type it, type it. I know you're watching. Tell me, does this resonate with you? How, what area in your life are you going to get out and shine in? Personal, professional, where are you, where are you going to do it? Romantic? What are you doing? What are you doing? I want to hear. Go ahead and type it, type it, type it. Yes! So let's get it. The card of the week. We have a very earthy month. It is the eight of earth coming as a challenger. Let me bring it a little bit closer. Eight of earth. Dun, 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 as a challenger. So challenge is not a bad thing. Remember, this is about an invitation from the energy. For you to pay attention to something, some area in your life in particular that you may feel a little bit challenged to embrace or a little bit challenged to voice, uh, challenged to uh, pursue and understand, right? Be kind to yourself. This week's new moon is in Virgo, right? So this is all about getting organized and clearing the decks so that you feel safe to shine. New moon, by the way, in um, lunar manifesting uh, has to do with stating your intent and letting your intention to be known. I'm like, oh, I want a lover. I want a lover. I want a lover hiding in my room by myself versus, ah, I'm here. And I know my lover very well may be in this room of humans. I'm gonna find this person, right? Whoever your person is, whatever you're looking for, it doesn't matter what your gender performance or sex is, doesn't matter, right? Get out and attract, right? I want a client, I want a client, I want a client, I want a client, I want to hide in my room or hide behind my laptop. I want a client, I'm not gonna tell anybody online versus, aha! Well, you could see my bloomer, woo! <laughs> I'm out here and I'm going to put myself out here in the place where potential clients may be and I'm going to share. I'm here to help. I'm here to help. This is what I help with, right? For yours 
yours truly, I help with multiplying sales and increasing energy. I help drained empathic entrepreneur leaders, if that's a problem. I'm here, I'm here, put yourself out there, right? And you get around other humans, lo and behold, it's just a matter of time for your track going. This card, the Eight of Earth says, skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic, going back to school, and my spirit guide said read, because this is what's challenging you this week, though, or you're challenged to see that, you're challenged to see your heart is in your work or your studies. Like, is my heart really in this? Like, I launched last week, but Kim, is it really okay? Is it really safe for me to shine and step forward? You've committed to learning about your career, vocation, or project. You're definitely on the right track. Your dedication, skill, and talents are appreciated and will soon be rewarded. So this is a challenge saying, am I going to, uh, am I going to be rewarded? Am I on the right track? Am I really headed in the right direction? Am I ever going to be recognized for the, the work that I've put in? <laughs> am I? Still, there's more to learn. Consider taking classes related to your interests or profession. A serious commitment to study or research is now called for. It may be time to go back to school. Additional meanings, craftsmanship, apprenticeship, diligence, attention to detail. All of that has to do essentially with wondering if you're headed in the right direction. This week of September 10th of 2023, be on the lookout especially professionally, of the imposter coming up of, am I really doing the right thing? Am I living my purpose? Am I in the right industry? Am I in the right career? Is this really the right business? Ask that question, my spirit guides are telling me. Yes, ask that question, but don't just stop with the asking of the question. Do the research. Don't just use the question to like beat yourself up. Oh, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. No, ask the question and do the research. I'm like, okay, here are the signs that I'm in the right industry. Look at this money that I'm making. Look at these people that I've served in the past. All of the testimonials, by the way, thank you for those who've been sending endorsements. Um, for me, I really appreciate it. Uh, look at all of these other people who are making good money in this industry, but who aren't doing it the way I would, right? There's an opening for me. Versus if you really ask that question, you see that you don't feel aligned with the data, then change. Change your industry, change your course. It's okay to change your mind. It's safe for you to shine. It is safe for you to step into whatever truth that may be this week. So this is a question of um, the energy wave of doubting that you're headed in the right direction. It's a question of whether or not you want to use that energy wave for you or against you to victimize yourself. This could actually propel you forward with more confidence in the industry that you're in or more freedom leaving something that isn't working. Either way, make a decision, bring the light of your decisiveness and let it shine brightly. It is safe for you to shine in all ways and in all areas. Can I ask you a question? Do you need my help with that? Is it feeling lately like it's not very safe to shine? Like if you were to change careers, your spouse would be like, what are you doing? Right? Or do you feel like it's not safe for you to shine the truth of what you're really here to do because you're afraid you're going to lose clients or offend um, certain clients or your business partner? What's coming up for you? Again, type it, type it. Type it in the comments. I'm paying attention. I've been responding to those of you who are uh, sending emails back as well as comments on YouTube. I want to hear it, right? Or text me 732-903-8573. Don't be shy. Go ahead. 
reach out. I'm here to serve. Um, and I'm going to continue to do these love letters after 13 years and counting out of devotion to our community. And you let me know when you are ready. Or send this to someone who you know should be working with me. You're like, I get the vibe that you don't feel like it's safe to shine yet. But I saw this video from Victoria and I was like, oh, this is for you, Bob. Right? Oh, this is for you, Regina. Right? Go ahead, send it to your friend. Let them know, hey, it's safe to shine. And thank you for shining your light in this world. We need you now more than ever. Mwah! That's it for the week of September 10th, 2023. Happy new moon. Write out your intentions and go get them. And remember, you do not have to lose your glow as you grow in life and business. We'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>